Oh, hello. Uh, I usually don't have visitors in here. Uh, okay, well, I'm Tony Frangus. Uh, welcome to the CHOK studio, and I'll give you a chance to see what I do every day in here. Come along, I'll show you the excitement. Not a lot of excitement, it looks the same as the other two studios, but let's have a look. So over here is Master Control. This is the console that controls all of the sound that goes out over the airwaves. All of these faders here, we call them. These basically control the volume of everything that goes in and out. On this screen here, this is our music playing software program called Media Touch. As you can see here, it's all touch screen. But all of the music, all of the commercials, all of the IDs that go in between all of that stuff will all play through here. Think of it as a sophisticated iTunes. That being said, it's a little easier to use if you ask me, but we'll move on. Anyway, this computer here just has your standard internet. We can edit audio on this as well, but when it comes to finding stuff to talk about from day to day, talking about the contest that we do, I'll pull it up from here. Sometimes I'm going off the script, sometimes I'm just going off stuff off the top of my head. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm gonna do five seconds before I turn on the microphone, but we have fun in here. That's what it's all about. On this screen here, this will show you the audio levels. We try to get these bars as close to this zero mark as humanly possible, and that way it comes out sounding proper because if you turn on the radio and this is too low, it's gonna sound really quiet. If it's way too high, then it's gonna sound all fuzzy and really, really loud and weird and not good. So we do have a little bit of work to do in here to just kind of keep an eye on things. When you call in for a contest, this black box right here takes care of everything. This is our phone system. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different lines. Some of them work, a lot of them don't. We're gonna talk to our engineering department about that. But in the meantime, yes, you can still get a hold of us anyway. This red phone here, we like to call the bat phone. I'm not completely sure what it does, but we have a bat phone. No, it doesn't call Batman. I don't think it calls anybody, but we'll move along. Long story short, as you can see, we do have a couple of other computers here, and it shows pretty much exactly the same thing. This media touch screen that shows all of our music will be mirrored over there, so any co-hosts that we have in here will be able to see exactly what's going on at the same time. We have a whole bunch of different microphones throughout the studio here, so when you have multiple guests in the studio, everybody can be heard loud and clear. And that dark room over there is our news booth. News department will go in there, They'll read the news in a nice separate soundproof booth so that they're not interrupted. They're very, very fragile people in that newsroom. You can't interrupt them at all. I'm surprised they even have the glass in here because we sit here and make faces. They are stones in there. Very cold people in that news department. Over here, our lunch table. As you can see, I brought my lunch in this snazzy Reebok bag. It consists of some watermelon and a smoothie that I had a little bit earlier. There's a discarded apple from I don't know how many weeks ago, and my Montreal Canadiens mug, which will fill with coffee, sometimes with water, sometimes some other beverages. Not alcohol. Not alcohol, my management's watching. Not alcohol. Over here, the co-host chair. Pretty much the same setup, just without that console that we saw a little bit earlier. You can see this computer is basically just kind of your standard computer for browsing the internet, nothing too fancy. And then on this screen here, if you come around, you're gonna see that media touch screen again that we talked about a little bit earlier. They can't control it from here, but they can at least see what's going on so that everybody in the studio is on the same page. Kleenex, for the most intense of conversations, we do have talk shows. Sometimes it gets very heavy very deep. There are tears that are shed in this studio, and that's what the Kleenex is for. And also, people are very sick. For whatever reason, germs just spread like wildfire in this place. And long story short, that's the CHOK studio. It's where I work every day. I have a lot of fun doing it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. As you can see, it's a little bit fancy. Not that fancy, but it's been a blast. Hope to have you again sometime.